Chef Donatella Arpaia's passion for food began as a child on visits to her grandfather's olive farm in Italy. She grew up in a family of restauranteurs here in New York, but her parents persuaded her to attend law school. She left the legal world behind at age 25 and opened her first restaurant. Her latest endeavor, Prova Pizza Bar, brings a favorite from her childhood to the food halls of Grand Central Station right here in New York City. Chef Donatella Arpaia, welcome to the dish. Thank you. And what a lovely table this, this is. This is a yeah. spread. I it's feel like it's Sunday at my house. <laughs> <laughs> it smells wonderful. What am I smelling? So we'll start from desserts. These are my ricotta fritters with a chocolate sauce. This is a crostini with burrata and butternut squash, oh, wow. an Italian <laughs> panzanella. I'm famous for my meatballs with yes. a spicy sauce. These are award-winning meatballs. They are. Meatball madness, two years in a row, New York City Food and Wine Festival. Paccheri alle cardinale, which is like a thick rigatoni baked with mozzarella and ricotta with parchment paper, which is a great uh, visual display, and mm. garlic bread. And a Negroni. Oh. Because, hey, it's Saturday morning. It is. Everybody's Cheers. drinking Negronis Cheers. at home, Happy I'm Cheers. sure. Cheers. That's Cheers. right. Oh, this is, the meatball's wonderful. The spice in it is amazing. Thank you. Calabrian chili from Calabria. So, so tell us about the family influence, because it really yes. was there from the very beginning. Yes. I am first-generation Italian immigrants. My father came here as a busboy. He worked with Ciro Maccioni and all, all, Tony May. Uh, Delmonico's and became an award-winning restaurateur and so I grew up in the literally grew up in the business your crib was yes. like in the kitchen yes next to the dishwashing station because <laughs> my mom couldn't afford a babysitter and she had to help out my dad and right. so she had to bring me and the, the dishwasher would lull me to sleep so <laughs> I literally grew up in the restaurant business uh, so my, my backyard was a restaurant kitchen. Uh, I grew up surrounded by it it definitely was in my DNA but I knew growing up that my father said, no matter, you could be whatever you want, Donatella, mm. as long as it's not in the restaurant business. So wow. they sort of shuttled you to law And you law should be school. a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. You could be whatever you want, but be a lawyer. But be a lawyer. lawyer. And you went so to law school. I went to law school. I graduated. I passed the bar. I started practicing in practicing corporate. Practicing corporate law? Corporate law, securities fraud. And four months later, I was at my brother's restaurant, Cellini on 54th. And he was groomed for the restaurant business. Yes. Because he's the son. And I was living above, and my brother... Uh, one night it was raining and he needed help and I was eating there because I ate for free. Right. <laughs> and I got up and I started helping and that's when I had my, you know, aha moment. I'm like, wait that a second. That was it. This is what I should be doing. Yeah. So the next day I started looking for locations. I found a very mediocre location and two weeks later I handed my resignation from law school. You were 25, 25. Yes. your first restaurant. I, op I really had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> you know, ignorance is, is bliss. Uh, How was, was that first year? It was tough. I was very, um, I didn't, I mean, I grew up in the business, but I never actually worked in the business, but I was extremely focused on what I could do, and I was very good with customer service. That's why I was known as the hostess with the mostest, and literally every customer that came in back then, you know, we didn't have the internet back then. It was just starting. I wrote, hand I wrote handwritten notes. Uh, wow. Walter Cronkite became a regular. He was wow. such a sweetheart. Or your love. And slowly it grew that if you go there, there's this young Italian girl that's going to take good care of you. And it, food is so important, but uh, more and more today, I think, as we get disconnected, people look for service. Yes. Right, yeah. right. Go and where you love. And that personal connection. Yeah. And literally, it became uh, quite the scene. The police commissioner. <laughs> So all these yeah. people were coming because they were rooting for me. Right. And I had good food, but uh, they came for me. It was interesting to me that you went to culinary school after you'd had yes. so much restaurant success. Yes. So I mean, what was that decision like? I then opened up David Burke and Donatella to tremendous success. I was a little unprepared for it, but then I was, uh, I'm a student at heart, and I wanted to master every aspect of the business, and I didn't like that I didn't have control of the kitchen mm -hmm. and even though I had an incredible food sense and I grew up in a food family and I knew a lot about it I wanted to know that if I opened up a restaurant and I needed to I could fire someone and get in the kitchen <laughs> yeah yeah you know um and it was it started you know I what the wonderful thing about food today with the food network is that there's so many aspects of the food world you can get into so it just enriched my career it was great well as we have you sign the dish the, the dish. question for you is if you could have one meal with anyone, past or present, who would it be? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> easier question to question. ask than answer. Yeah. I mean, I'm Italian, so I would have to say my, the, my family, my son, my husband, and actually my father's parents, who I've never met. Uh, they died right before I was born, but 
they loomed large in my yes. life. They live so, in your food. Yes, yes, I think they would really be kind of proud and get a kick I'm out sure of it. They would be. No doubt. I'm sure they would be. Chef Donatella Arpaia, We're thank done? you. Thank you. Well, we get to eat oh, we more. Get to eat more <laughs> thank you so much. And for more on Donatella Arpaia and the dish, you can head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.